What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bianca, back with another reading. All right, so again, AC's on. I don't think you guys can hear very well. I also have um, one. This is one mic on right now. I have another one charging. I don't know which. I can't. They look the same. So one of my mics has, like, static in the beginning of like my readings a little bit like it could be like a two and a half minutes and then it goes away so i don't know if it's this mic or if it's the other mic so if it is this mic i truly apologize if you guys could just sit through the first like two minutes two and a half minutes it usually goes away after that time i don't know why it does it i don't know why do why do uh, microphones get like um what is it called it's when they get like static or not static but like what is it called it's like a specific word i don't know but why do microphones do that it's something like too close or oh, a speaker is too close to a microphone or something so it like does that you know that type of i don't know i'm getting something like this somebody could be doing a party somebody could be announcing something something to do with because i was talking about the microphone Somebody wants to take the stand in a sense of like they want to speak up for you. Maybe they want to because microphone talks about speaking loudly, right, to project your voice so a lot of people can hear. So maybe somebody wants to express something to a large group of people or something or like they want to make something known. I feel like you intuitively know somebody wants to take some sort of action. And then I just saw one, four, three. 143 to me always I always think about 143 L O B E isn't that like a that was like a radio station way back when I was younger I believe I don't know where I heard that but it's always stuck with me so 143 is always like I love you to me like but like not high school like it's immature but like giddy young love like this person feels this way you can be older and still feel this way so don't like don't restrict yourself from like don't restrict your mind into believing or to, th to thinking something can't be for you because you're too old too young to whatever to this to that like don't do that don't limit yourself don't restrict yourself um also have a better perception or perspective about yourself always see yourself in the highest vibration always imagine yourself in a healed place not oh this is bad or this is going on because you will only manifest more of what you're thinking about so if you're thinking about being successful if you're thinking about you know making money being disciplined all the things that you want you know that make you happy the sun that paint the sun in your world go for it balance your mind body and soul because i just saw 303 um something to do with the band gym class heroes because I just heard the ba da 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 What's that song? Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. da 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 Or something like this. I don't know. Something like this. I see the star here. So somebody and the empress. Woo. Why is the seven? I'm sorry. Somebody didn't see something. Somebody was not looking at a situation. The seven of swords talks about sneaky, lies, betrayal. This could also just be something hidden. Emotions. This person wasn't looking at their emotions. They had their back turned to the water. They did not want to make some sort of decision, like a, a much needed decision, like to choose which way to go when it comes to like their emotions. They were hiding their emotions. They didn't want to look at something. Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is right there, that you were the star empress, that you were healed, you were balanced, you were the ideal person like you were there once in a life like you don't find an empress you don't find an empress just anywhere it's like you don't just uh, come uh, come across an empress like if you like if you find somebody that is empress status or like potential to be or like you know that is that you see that in them obviously you know what is for you will never pass you by so if there is some sort of missed opportunity in your head that you believe always know that god um protects us from the things four for four god protects us your spirit guys protects us the universe protects us from the things that we 
feel like we may want or like that we desire or feel like it's good for us, but maybe it's just not the right timing. So never just, you know, um, I'm getting a little rule something off or like say like, oh no, never. I like can never do that because circumstances change, you change, your mindset changes, your circumstances can change, you can grow, elevate, experience something and have a completely different perspective than when you were in the past saying, oh, I'd never do this. It's kind of like, that's how they say never say never. But obviously, you know, because people make impossible happen. What we think is impossible, people make happen. So nothing is impossible. However, you got to focus on you. You got to stay focused on what you, you're grinding, what you want, what you, what makes you happy, not pleasing somebody else. Also putting like the effort, energy into just like not working on yourself and just focusing on like trying to be with the person or not that's not obviously like bills gotta be paid you gotta like you know so somebody i'm getting somebody something to do with wasting time somebody could have been wait could have wasted some sort of time or wasted time maybe community imprisonment so there could be a community in their head um so yeah so maybe something to do with wasted time so somebody feels like they wasted somebody's time or they were wasting somebody's time or your time or whatever um because and like this person is gonna know or something like this like something's gonna be revealed or some some sort of inf like piece of a detail of something will like be brought up or something and you're gonna like something's gonna <sighs> okay so what i'm getting is you could be asking the divine what who you you know, God, the universe, whatever, you know, um, for a indication of who is uh, loyal to you, who you can trust. Tell me who is trustworthy. So you have analyzed or you are analyzing the people around you because you knew, you know, your guides tell you that you go lead with your intuition. So, yeah, so see change. You let go, and what I'm getting bad health of toxic relationships that were holding you back that didn't want you to move forward because that car is empty. Yeah, it has like this person's luggage is there, but they're not there. So it's kind of like, yeah, there could have been somebody trying to end something, a false person. They were expecting something to change or to end, maybe for you to be leaving after some sort of bad health. I'm getting to also something to do with having to force, like, not force but like somebody could be like one like making something up or something or somebody could be realizing that you're actually like in high honor or something like i don't know why i just got like somebody was like wait 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 something like this like wait hold on oh this person does work hard like wow i didn't realize that this person like Oh, they are on their shit. Like, oh, like maybe at first it's not seen or com your community could be like, what does this person do? Or like, what? How is this person so stable? Or like something like this. And But you, but it makes sense. Like you're very disciplined. You, you know, you, you're hardworking. You've always been this way. So it's like somebody realize, is realizing that there was this person didn't even know why or who or like there could have just been a, mo a number of people that maybe created some sort of yeah privileged lady and then it says change you were always the privileged lady but something had changed something made some sort of change and i just see wow i just see the letter right here i just saw my eye drew to this the c right here somebody change this privileged lady's circumstances or not this person did but like <gasps> no oh it didn't go away i read my text message and <laughs> i thought it was going to um i thought it was gonna like end the video oh my god because i just like pulled it down but i didn't like pull it i just you know i read it but i didn't really read it or leave it there so i think that's why it didn't stop recording Woohoo! okay so uh, somebody could be thinking about you Ooh, somebody wants to gift you something maybe somebody is realizing okay somebody i don't know why i'm getting i always get you gonna settle down you gonna live with him i don't even want to put a pic with him the bag he just probably was a goat yard da, 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 like a nun <laughs> 
Hold it down. Da, mm. da, 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 da. Better be the ch- like a drum. Don't be talking shit like you know me. I rap like a pony. That nigga look like a brokey girl with his homie. Don't do that. All right. Great fortune. Be low. Okay. That's just like low vibrational. Don't do that with the song set. Okay. No. Great fortune family room. Ooh, somebody's getting some sort of message of concern. Yep. That this person's going to be receiving some sort of gift. They, this person's already expecting something. They already know about it. So they know somebody knows they're in despair. They know they're going to be left out in the cold because unexpected income, you could be receiving something. You went down the right path. This person is going to be not, I don't want to say in poverty. I just feel like this person is going to be left out in the cold. I feel like they're like in some sort of bad health. Could be a female too, or a mature man. I don't know. They could just be, maybe somebody is making you their empress, their female, their top, you know, their you the one somebody's concerned about this you the one that i think about all day you are the one so i make sure i behave my love is your love somebody wants to give you something or they feel like you are very equal when it comes to energy exchange they want to level you up i feel like somebody's acknowledging your growth your spiritual growth or like your level up or there could be somebody, could be feminine energy or somebody, matriarch, I'm getting like, so somebody you consider motherly or something like this, but this definitely could be somebody older than you, but somebody um, is using their intuition. They want to balance out a situation and they want to um, help you. So I was getting somebody because of Queen of, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So meaning this could just be somebody that maybe is a little bit imbalanced or like, Maybe they're going through some sort of situation, but like, you know, we can all fluctuate. So maybe you, somebody is putting you back in your rifle, like what, because it's like I said the reverse. So maybe, because that's what I was seeing in my head is the reverse. So somebody is, somebody is putting you back upright. Like you weren't even supposed to be in the reverse. Somebody is putting you back in the upright. So you could be receiving some sort of help, maybe financially, or you could be receiving what is yours financially. Somebody could be watching or observing a situation or maybe um, like somebody takes risks or something like this. Yin, feminine, or somebody could just be watching your feminine energy. New life. I feel like they're observing you in this new. Maybe you've, um, you know, changed your life, changed your lifestyle, changed some sort of aspect of your lifestyle or anything, something like that. Come to the edge is still here. It just came back. So see, maybe somebody was like you had to take a leap. Because I, I see this as the full card. Maybe you had to let go of past hurt because I see all these hearts and she's like leaving them, throwing them away. You know, she's like leaving them behind and they're kind of just floating there. And she needs to take a leap. She needs to be flexible or he or she. But see, fork in the road. I feel like this person is, could be masculine. Maybe they are very by the, I just saw 1313, definitely some sort of transformation. There was definitely somebody in between. 13, 2 is also transformation. Somebody wants to go the distance. And look, hey, look, it's the flag right there that I have on my nails here and now. Somebody wants to do things right. They want to do things the right way with you. I feel like there could have been, like, underlying maybe something you don't see, chaos and conflict or something in the past you didn't see. Somebody observed after, like, some sort of chaos and conflict they brought to you or something. Like, somebody created some sort of chaos and conflict. Somebody was observing you, and this is how you were. Peaceful. Yeah, so whatever fork in the road, meaning decision this person had to make, they are making a decision. Real quick. Yeah, yang, yang balance. I feel like somebody wants to have some sort of fun. I always get this as summer, but I just see yin and yang. So you are balanced. You are equal. You are, you know, I'm getting different. You're like, you know, out there. You're genuine. You have like fire. You're like a firecracker. You're just... You know, you're spicy. You don't let people walk all over you. You know how to be submissive. Like, you know, you know how to be kind. Like, I don't know. I'm getting, like, you're the whole package. You're the whole, you know, shebang. Somebody would be, like, maybe you just take care of your family or you take care of your people around you or you, there's a lot of benefits when it comes to, you know, your energy or being around your energy. Maybe, okay, let's see. Let me see what else comes out.
Do you, some of you guys could be like be stuck in traffic or something right now. Or like some sort of, there could be some sort of blockage. Whoa, all those cards flipped around, but I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to put them back. Sure. Yeah. So maybe you could be cautious about something. Maybe pay attention to when you're driving. Something to do with driving. Okay, so maybe um, careful with the imbalance of your emotions or something, or somebody could be wanting to put you in some sort of emotional imbalance. Yeah, but you're, this could have been in the past. They were trying to put some sort of moon and emotions. This is in the reverse. Could have been last year as well, but to divine guidance and peace, you seek divine guidance, all the obstacles that somebody tried to put in your way. Um, unfortunately, you have infinite possibilities and you have good luck and they were trying to distract you. Could have been a community of people, but you received some sort of enlighten enlightenment and you ended something. Yeah, I feel like you're going towards what makes you happy right here. You put boundaries. Confirmation. I feel like you cut cords. I know that was a lot of cards, but if you go back, run it back, and you'll see the storyline as I pull the cards. All right, real quick before I get out of here, because it is time for Sage to go on her evening walk. You could have healed some sort of anxiety that you had or heartbreak or something like this. You could be healing or, yeah, you healed. You're, you've renewed yourself after some sort of hardship. Maybe you have to isolate yourself because you were dealing with something that, you know, created a lot of sadness. Three of Swords is just heartbreaking energy. I don't know why I just heard. I'm lucky I found you. The Empress. Somebody wants to get you preggers. See, the magician. Somebody's manifesting their Empress to for them to find their Empress. So somebody to have willpower. Oh, someone's learning. They're um, understanding something. They are no longer in between a situation, maybe a sexual, something to do with this. They're balancing out the scales. They want to work together. I feel like they, I feel like something to do with comfortable, this person is comfortable with you. You're very nurturing. You're very abundant. You have like the, you are like, it's like, you know, when they say, oh, like, yeah, that's like mom status or like, that's mom, like that's mom, right? Like that, that's the mom of the, like not in a negative way. It's just like you are the person people go to. So somebody could have left you out in the cold or they could have walked away from you. Maybe you're letting go of something or somebody is letting go of like they're persevering through something and like letting go of oh, like, what is it? Like not, I don't know. Like they're letting go of something. They're walking away from something that doesn't make them happy. I feel like they're coming towards this empress. Page of Wands, this is good news. Five of Cups here is some sort of sadness. Maybe, um, yeah, somebody is, you know, they've overcome a lot of situations. They've, they've really um, persevered. They've really uh, showed their resilience, I feel like. I feel like this person is almost to the finish line. Nine of Wands, they've had to overcome a lot of different things. But they're almost there. So somebody definitely wants to make you their a part of their family. They, you are very stable to this person. I feel like you're very secure. They want to secure. They want to secure like um, long term with you. They want to um, fulfill you emotionally, um, spiritually, in all aspects. I feel like maybe you had to walk away from somebody or something. Um, yeah, see, the fool is like you took a leap of faith, page of cups. All these are flipped, but I'm not going to flip them. Um, maybe somebody was stuck in their head. Yeah, they're finally moving forward. They made a decision. Maybe there was somebody that was in between, a decision, a person, uh, two people, whatever. They were all in their head. Maybe there was somebody, three of cups, also friends. They've learned something new, though, about these friends. I feel like they've cut people off or they're no longer talking to these people. Or look, six of swords, they're moving on to calmer waters. Yeah, justice, this is being balanced out. Like, whatever. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, the, the, the wheel is turning and it's like, 
it's in their favor. It's like you, there's no negative energy. I don't want to, there's like with your person, I feel like there was just things you and your person had to clear up in regards to individually, but I don't feel like there's any third party situation. I don't feel like it, it can't, it, it's like, you know, I just feel like there's like, I don't know why I heard cutting, tying up loose ends or something because somebody could also be healing or like, you know, because they had to ha overcome a lot of, um, you know, different obstacles. So I feel like they had to work on themselves, work on their energy, uh, maybe their anxiety or uh, could also be family life or something like this. Someone is maybe receiving some sort of uh, good news and they are taking some sort of like they're focused now on on you. I feel like they're focused. They're listening to their inner inner selves. I feel like they're looking forward. They're definitely um, yeah. I feel like they see long term with you. They see you as very mature. The star. See, I feel like somebody wants to communicate something, or there's some sort of quick decision. You walking away from somebody, and maybe this person was feeling a little let down. This could have been in the past. This person maybe was feeling a little trapped. Yeah, because you you leaped forward or you moved forward or you took a leap to, yeah. And maybe somebody wasn't chosen either in the sense of like the lovers in the reverse. There was a decision that, you know, didn't go in this person's favor. Could have been maybe they went towards a, yep, definitely a karmic relationship. Definitely somebody younger, Page of Swords. This is somebody very kind of just like, they're still learning. Page is like messages. See, Page of Swords and then King of Wands, they took, they took some sort of action. Could have been friends as well. I feel like somebody could be ghosting or ending that cycle of, like, illusion, drinking. See, justice is here. They are balancing out Nine of Pentacles. I feel like they see you. You're zen. You are unbothered. I feel like this person feels like they're going to miss an opportunity, so they want their, you know, they're gaining some sort of new perspective. I feel like they, they feel like they know they did you. Not dirty. They just feel like Maybe they created sadness or something or like, but they definitely want to, you know, overcome some sort of difficulties in this situation. Also, this person could, maybe they had to like think about something or they were like waiting on some sort of, yeah, like sudden, like a, some sort of truth or some sort of something changed. This perspective, somebody gains a new perspective and they move forward. Um, I feel like this person is, uh, they were they plan they were planning they're getting the confidence now to uh, look forward or move forward. Yeah, I feel like uh, this person's yeah gaining the confidence. I feel like maybe they were disappointed in the past. Maybe when it came to some sort of partnership, maybe there was a partnership that this person put a lot of energy, or they feel like there was a waste of effort, or lack of growth in a situation. Maybe it was just like the beginning stages. They took some sort of risk and something failed and something ended. They got to let this go and move forward. Because if they don't let this go, it's kind of like somebody knows from the past. They've tried to heal themselves because they know something that they, you know, unfinished work, something, maybe a, a relationship ended. See the death? They want to move forward to this partnership. And they want a new, passionate new beginning, but I feel like they had to let go of what was holding them back. The devil, knight of wands. This was creating a lot of, you know, maybe they had, a, they were with their sexual energy. And you're never supposed to look. The more energy, sexual energy you share with somebody, the more you create soul ties, and this creates karma because who you're intimate with, you obtain their karma. So this is why they say when you're with somebody who's high vibrational, you get healing, you receive abundance because you're getting their great energy. If you're around someone who's negative, toxic, and you're, especially you're intimate with that person, that's going to rub off on you. Hello, of course things are going to go wrong or things are going to go kind of haywire. Like, you know, this person's giving you their negative energy. So you got to stay at a high vibration and be with somebody who's at a high vibration. Don't lower your standards or don't lower your energy down for somebody who is not understanding what sacred like how sacred the energy is like you need to really you know i don't know i feel like maybe this could be knowledge to you knight of wands like don't you know and then the ace of wands because that could be seen as somebody who is kind of reckless with their sexual energy or very passionate just like very enthusiastic but like very in and out the knight of wands they're not a king they're not a page so they're not very immature but they're they're getting there the knight is you know they're but they're very quick. They get bored easily. This also gives me like Sagittarius energy. This is somebody who could be very charming. This also could be somebody who could, 
you know, they, they could just like, you know, I don't know. I'm getting like, not bitchy, but it's like, they want their way and they don't care. Like verbellious. Yeah. Like they're just very like, I don't know, something like this. So I feel like you need to understand or like, you know, understand that. Yeah, when you create you create soul ties with people and that's getting their karma and then you don't obtain like your wealth or like you delay yourself from being involved with people that are a lower vibration because they're bringing you down to their level. Um, you know, you got to continue to elevate, not come back down. It's like you got to um, also somebody could be the one person or like maybe you've you came into somebody's life or somebody came into your life and this person elevated you. They made you see something at a different perspective, but the people around you are still in an immature, but not in a negative way, just like they're just at a different level. So you understand things because you're around your person and they elevate you. They make you grow or they help you grow, make you become a better person. And not to say that the people around you are not good people, but your person's at a high vibration. So it's kind of like these people don't understand it yet because they have to get to that level. So somebody could be experiencing the things that you went through in the past, kind of like the things of like not resonating with people or their friends anymore because they've elevated to a higher vibration. So the things that they used to find funny, the things that entertained them before, now they're just like, okay, like, okay, whatever. Like they're not putting minds to it. They're maybe focusing more on you or focusing more on like getting an alignment for a connection. Like people around them are noticing that they're changing or that they're serious or mature now or like they're not really entertaining other people because they know Somebody's about to get into a partnership. People feel it. They know. It's just like, come on. People can sense change. If someone's like, maybe friends, like they just don't understand this. It's like somebody doesn't get, like, you know, something like this. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I got to take stage for a walk before the sun goes down. So I will see you guys at my next reading. Let me know if this resonates. Comment down below or don't forget to like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.